All right, everyone, welcome to Strip Club. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's January here in um, El Cajon, a very wet, rainy El Cajon. And we have a new pattern for a new year that uses, gasp, surprise, two and a half inch strips. Um, I'm very excited to show this one because this is one of those, hey, look at this kind of patterns. Um, so first we start with two and a half inch strips. And in this particular case, we just use a background fabric. Did I tell you the name of it? No, I didn't. Revolution. See what song you get stuck in your head with that. <laughs> right? It'll define your generation depending on what song you get stuck in your head. Okay, so first two and a half inch strips. And then background fabric, that's it. That's all you need and borders. Uh, we started with a pre-cut bundle from Timeless Treasure. I believe this bundle is called Neon. Um, and we picked a nice crisp white for the background. So that it would really pop and really look nice. I'm hoping that my white jacket is just as white. But <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with first with two and a half inch strips, you're going to sew a couple of them together and then cut them into segments. So here I have two strips sewn together. These are nice, bright, cheerful, just what we need for a new year. And then we cut into segments. Here's your segment, right from that same strip set. Now we have background fabric. Remember a crisp, shiny white? This is the back. Depending on your white, you may not be able to tell it's the back. Um, that's OK. We're going to draw lines, two diagonal lines, one corner to corner, like this, and one half an inch away. You probably don't want to use heavy, dark lines like we have here. We just have uh, dark lines to show you so you can see it from where you're sitting. Something faint, um, uh, just to create the lines with the ruler. So make a bunch of these. Be careful of the placement and the orientation of those lines. It will matter. So when you make your quilt and you see that it matters, remember that I told you. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to take one of these squares and place it on a segment again. Placement is important. Place like this. Wait, right? What? That's not the way the pattern shows it? So pay attention to the pattern, because what I'm showing you here <laughs> is how easy it is to do it a different way. <laughs> Thank you. So you know, clearly the pattern was successful. The concept is what we're showing here. So square on top of um, two uh, strips like this. Now we're going to, where the diagonal lines are, these are right sides together. So this is the wrong side of the fabric that has the lines. You're going to stitch on both of those diagonal lines. Just stitch right on them. Okay? And then this will flip over like that and create a piece that looks like that. Now what do you think we're going to do with the other piece? <laughs> Did it not stay? All right. Okay. That's the first part of your block. But you still have another seam in there. So what do you think we're going to do? We are going to cut it off. So we're going to cut right between those two lines and have an ex extra little piece. What are we going to do with that piece? <laughs> we're going to put it aside for a bonus quilt. <laughs> so here I have this piece and then a little bonus square. Doop -doo -doop. That's not it. That comes from this piece here. Doop, 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 like that. So you'll get two from one placement. Whoops. Fly be free. No, come back. I'm not done with you. You'll get a you'll get a bonus uh, semi half square triangle piece like that. So collect those, put those aside. This is just to save fabric so that you can have something else fun to make. The bonus quilt information is in the pattern though. Okay, so you put those aside, and now we have this segment. Yes? Same concept, only now we're going to do it with um, a square on a square. So we have a strip square. So these are from your print strips. And then we have placed on top of it, oh, this one's already a sandwich. We have placed on top of it that same square with the lines on it. Again, pay attention to the pattern and the lines that you draw in the placement. Again, we sew on those lines. Make sure they're faint because there's where your threads are, so you will see them in the quilt. Flip over for one side, like that. Yes? 
and then cut in between, and then you have your little baby bonus. That looks like this. So you'll get two, two, two blocks from one. <laughs> yeah, thanks for laughing. I don't know why that got in my head. Okay, so now we have this piece, and we have a piece that looks like this. And what we're going to do is take the, again, be careful of the orientation. We will place a background square with the other square that we cut out to create a segment that happens to be the same length as the other segment. Then we're going to sew the two together. in there. <laughs> That's your block. Right? That's your block. Are you picturing it in the quilt? Because the quilt has a little more to it. Let me show you the block in the quilt. Actually, here. I find this is a great way to do it. Okay? So now you can see how it's placed in the, in the quilt actually from there. Okay? So, four blocks twist and turn. And you get a primary design and you get a secondary design. Primary design, depending on your eye or your colors, will be the pinwheel here. This, this large what, pinwheel, spinner, top. Secondary design, when the other four corners meet, will be this pinwheel. Crazy, isn't it? I love when one block creates two designs. Two, two, two designs in one. Okay, but there's more to this quilt. We talked about all the blocks. We talked about how they rotate and how you can create a primary design and a secondary design. But you're probably noticing that the pattern continues on or that we have these pieces, which I call, I think I call it border one. These are border blocks. These are not part of your square block. Okay? So what we've done is we've continued on the small pinwheel effect out to the borders. <laughs> Somebody give me directions. Last time we had the pattern in the net. Was you? Wait, we were showing a pattern. Our pattern, our last pattern, ins and outs. And I said, and here's our pattern, ins and outs. And then Siri, is it Siri? <laughs> Siri says, here is the closest location to in and out Burger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me show you here. This is a block. You can see that it is the same block that I showed you. But this piece here, is part of a border. It's a, it's a segment. So let me show you how that comes together. Those will finish off the edges to continue the design out into the border and make it look more complete. In order to make the, that secondary block, it's really the same thing. Well, it's this block. Be careful of your placement because some of the blocks will need to go one direction and some the other direction so that when you twist and turn, the pinwheel seams are going in a continuous, uh, consistent manner. So with these pieces now in the borders, twisted and turned, it completes the design from the blocks. It's clear in the pattern. The pattern has a layout of all the blocks, and then you can see the outer parts are different or shaded differently. So you'll set all of the blocks first, then add the border pieces, twist and turn them to create the effect, and then sew the pieces together. Is it pretty? Do you like it? Yes. Thank you. It is creative. Now what if, what if we twisted the blocks differently? I want everybody to squint their eyes and come up with a different placement. Yeah, can you do it? No, don't worry about it. The only reason I know that we can come up with a different placement is I was playing an electric quilt and I clicked that symmetry button and, oh, look! <laughs> oh, look. Would you like to see the other yeah. sample? Yeah. Oops. 
Sim. Also bright, cheerful, and fun. These are the exact same blocks. They're only twisted differently for a different effect. You really like this one too? I do too. I can't decide which one I like better. So we're going to take a vote. This is a spontaneous poll. A, the one on the wall. B, the one in my hands. Or C, both I can't decide I love them. Wow. Okay, well. A, cheer, Le uh, audio, yay, yay. <laughs> B, yay. Uh, oh. C, yay. <laughs> good, because that's the one I was hoping for. <laughs> so revolution now, different layout. It's like, and I'm not going to say two, two, two patterns in one. You could do that. So if you love these colors, you could put it in that quilt. If you love those colors, you can put it in this quilt. Yeah. Revolution. You just revolve the blocks. That's my girl. You get it. Shh, sparkle fabric would be great. Really, this is one of those that if you like the strips you start with, you're going to like the quilt. Because all you're going to do is add background. And it goes together fairly quickly. But remember I told you you have a bonus quilt? Yes. So really what you have created is some sort of interesting half square triangle blocks. Now, half square triangles, as you may know, are the most popular <laughs> or the most common blocks. I don't want to say popular. Um, sounds like high school all over again. Most common blocks in quilting. There's so much you can do. Light on one side, dark on the other side. You can twist and turn them. In fact, the pattern shows you multiple layout options. Um, but we have one here done with the bonus blocks, I believe from this quilt. So this is what you can do with those bonus pieces. Isn't that great? It's just fun. I don't know if you'll notice, but the seams in the half of the half square triangle will go different directions because those placement of the seams are important when you're assembling your block pieces. So the ones that you cut off will be a little different. There'll be two different options. We didn't care. We just put it all together. It does. It's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely lovely. So this is the bonus quilt that goes with the revolution pattern. Any questions? Can we do it? I know you can. I know you can. Great way to use those two and a half inch strips that we love so much. All right, my friends, if there's no questions, then thank you for coming. And shall we do it again next month? Yes, yes let's.